Now, probably one of the easiest articles to understand in the entire NEC would be Article 100, uh, which only includes definitions uh, for references to other articles in the NEC. Now, there is some good precursor information before you start looking at these definitions and before you go looking for the definitions of different words and terms to understand that's laid out a little bit in the scope section here of Article 100. Uh, as you can see in the scope, Article 100 is not intended to include general industry terms or things that are commonly going to be used in industry uh, or terms, to put simply, that the writers of the NEC assume that you know what are if you're using this book. For instance, the word conductor or what electrical metallic tubing is. Um, other things of that nature. Now, sometimes you'd be surprised at how simple of a word will be defined in the NEC, uh, but a lot of times that's also because the writers of the NEC assume that perhaps the general public's opinion on what that word means is different than the way that the NEC uses it, so they just want to define that clearly. But in essence, once you understand that, Article 100 is fairly straightforward to use. This is simply a uh, alphabetical list of words and terms. It's quite long in length uh, that just define them. Now, again, one of those things that can be a little bit uh, frustrating to understand is that the way some of the words are phrased can make them a little bit harder to look up. For instance, one of the phrases that we have highlighted down here is accessible readily or readily accessible. Uh, readily accessible is a term that is used in numerous places throughout the NEC, and it's very important to understand the definition of that word both in terms of the NEC and in the real world. So you may need to go, go to look up the definition of that word with it being readily accessible and not be able to find it because you actually need to go and look at the A section for accessible readily. Another example of this would be a set of three terms if we move on down to page 47 in the L definitions are location damp, location dry, and location wet. Again, these are very important terms to understand and we'll go over some of the specific definitions in Article 100 once we get to the subject area where they're important. So for instance, for these, we'll be discussing these once we go over Article 300 for wiring methods. Uh, so you don't need to be worried about highlighting these or uh, understanding what they mean right now. But again, once we get to Article 300, it will be very important to know these three terms, lo location damp, location dry, location wet, which you can see in parentheses, uh, we will refer to as a damp location, a dry location, and a wet location. Uh, but again, if you were to try to look those up based on wet location, dry location, damp location, you would be unable to find them. Now, a few other notes, if we go back to the beginning of Article 100, uh, to pay attention to uh, both here in definitions and elsewhere in the code, uh, is number one, anywhere that you see a dark highlighting of text, that means that that has been revised from pr the previous edition of the NEC. Uh, so this text did not exist in the 2023 NEC as the such for this text down here, or it existed with slight different wording. You may also notice a, a bold slash dark highlighted in next to several of these words. That means that that is a new section to the 2023 NEC. Now, it's not very important in terms of understanding uh, the NEC because, again, we don't really care whether it's new or old, uh, but just one of those things to help clarify as we move through. Uh, definitions is a very good area to see that in the 2023 specifically because a large majority of the terms and definitions are new in Article 100 for the 2023, as historically speaking, a lot of these definitions would be included in the article that they were related to. Uh, so for instance, uh, fi fixed in place equipment uh, was a definition that was located in 
uh, other areas of the code. Specifically, you could find it in the article for mobile homes as one example. Uh, but that was relocated, you can see by the N, to Article 100 in the 2023 NEC. Uh, the last item that's worth pointing out, again, just for information's sake, is you'll notice on the end of each definition is a CMP dash a number in parentheses. That is actually the code making panel that is responsible for that definition. So, as an example, readily accessible, that definition belongs to code making panel 1. We could see the definition for applicator belongs to code making panel 12. Uh, so again, just one of those things uh, that's good, neat to know. Uh, the final thing that's also worth noting about definitions, if we move towards the end, and we're just going to scroll uh, to the actual end of definitions, which is zone, uh, we see that that ends on page 64 of the NEC. Uh, and we can see there's roughly 900 or so pages within the NEC. Now, if you think about it, in reality, up to this page in the NEC, all we've really covered is the contents of the NEC, the different code-making panels, the introduction to the NEC, and the definitions in the NEC. Uh, and this is almost one-tenth of the pages of the entire book. So, one of those things that can be a positive motivator in a way when you're looking at this, you know, large, thick textbook, uh, is that almost a tenth of those, in reality, aren't per se rules that you would need to know uh, or, you know, information that you may even per se have to reference on the regular. It's really just introductory material uh, to look at. So that summarizes, though, Article 100 for definitions. Uh, again, you can see just kind of scrolling through here, more of the layout of it and whatnot. Uh, again, we'll be using Article 100 as a reference when we move on to other articles and we run into terms that we need to define. Um, but other than that, you know, unless you're asked a specific question that wants to know the definition of a term or you're given a term and ask which of the following uh, words that would be the definition of, you're probably not going to have to reference this article very often. Uh, but again, a very simple and easy one to understand and to use.